uh, make them exactly how I've made them. These are uh, wedges, uh, these are dashes, and these are straight lines. So this uh, octahedral complex ion is made exactly like this. So you have to do so too. So this is for octahedral, and I think I cannot erase this. Uh, so um, what I'll do is, sorry, um, I'll just, yeah. Okay, so that was octahedral, and now we are going to do um, tetrahedral, uh, tetrahedral uh, complex ions. So uh, if we look at a complex ion like cobalt, uh, so uh, before this, I'll just give you an example of a tetrahedral complex ion. Um, okay, so we have cobalt. COCl4, COCl4, two negative. Okay, so this is a tetrahedral complex ion. I'll show you how it is tetrahedral, the shape of this complex ion. Charge, very important. Square brackets, very important. CO is the central metal ion. I have, um, sorry. I have CL, I have CL, I have CL, and um, I have CL. So uh, this is a tetrahedral complex ion. You must have seen this shape in organic chemistry. For example, if you take methane, it is uh, H CH4 methane H H and H. Okay, so this is CH4, a tetrahedral molecule, and similarly, this is a tetrahedral um, complex ion, and uh, it has a charge of two negative because the ligands here are Cl negative ions. Cl negative, they have a lone pair of electrons uh, which they donate to the central CO2 plus ion. So our central metal ion is CO2 plus. Our central metal ion is CO2 plus. Our ligands are Cl negative ions. They donate a lone pair. They are monodentic ligands because each Cl negative ion donate one lone pair of electrons to the CO2 plus uh, uh, ion. So uh, they are monodent. The Cl negative ions are monodentic ligands, and we have an overall charge of two negative because we have four Cl negative ions. So they contribute to a four negative charge, and we have one CO2 plus ion which contributes to a plus two charge. So when we add these charges, uh, plus two and minus four, we get um, we get minus two. So that's our exact, uh, that's our overall, overall charge, two negative on the entire complex ion. And this is a tetrahedral complex ion. All bond angles, all consecutive bond angles are 109.5 degrees. We learned that in organic chemistry in sp3 hybridization, then uh, that sp3 hybridization leads to 109.5 degrees and uh, we learned this in AS levels. So all bond angles here are 109.5 degrees, making this a tetrahedral shape. Okay, so next up, uh, a tetrahedral will always have four li uh, four ligands, uh, an octahedral will, uh, uh, four bonds, four bonds, not ligands. Uh, a tetrahedral will have four ligands uh, and uh, uh, an octahedral, or, uh, four, sorry, four bonds, and an octahedral will have six bonds. Just remember that. Six coordinate bonds in octahedral, six, four coordinate bonds in tetrahedral. Okay, so... Uh, now let's move on to square planar. So square planar is uh, example. So let me just write this again. Six bonds in octahedral, four bonds in tetrahedral. Okay. So square planar. Uh, each bond angle is 90 degrees. So I'll make a square. I'll give an example of a square planar. 
complex ion so let's write the condensed form first 